Hey guys, Captain's Tech here. So I'm super excited to share this video with you guys today. So if you could please stick around for the full duration of the video, um, remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will really help promote my channel and actually get my video out to a broader audience, which is something that my channel really needs right now. Um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the interview as a junior developer tips. All right, so the very first tip for interviewing as a junior developer is built on your skill set. You want to make sure that you actually have the skills necessary to perform the job that you're going to be hired for. So those skills typically in the web development world are HTML, CSS, and front-end JavaScript. And then on the server, the sky's the limit. You could do whatever you want, but I would mostly stick to learning the fundamentals of a back-end programming language. You could carry over JavaScript to the back-end with Node, or you could uh, use PHP on the server side, Python, C Sharp, Ruby, there's various other programming languages. It's not a big deal there. What you wanna do is just make sure that you have at least one server-side programming language down. And then also, um, maybe learn a database like MySQL. Um, and then with those skills, you'll have enough to build just about anything. Okay, if you're looking to go more of the front-end route, then I would definitely bulk up on the HTML, CSS, JavaScript, maybe learn some uh, basic design as far as like Figma or Sketch, some illustrations, some graphic design, some logo stuff, and uh, also just have a real good eye for design. Really be able to mock up a web page, lay it out, and do everything from concept to completion on the front end. Now, on the server side, you could also just do back-end development and apply as a back-end developer. Um, and then basically you would do what I said, bulk up on the server side, understand a little more of the intricacies of the server side outside of just the programming language in the database. Um, also, if you're applying as a full stack, then what I mentioned before is what would apply. HTML, CSS, JavaScript, server-side programming language, server-side database. Prove that you can build some basic stuff. That should be good enough. All right, this will bring me to my next tip. All right, so the second tip. The second tip is networking. This is very, 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 very huge. Any field, any job, you need to have one foot in the door if possible. And as a junior developer, you're basically not fully credible at this point. Employers are kind of taking a risk on you because you don't have much on your resume for a background of what you've been doing. Unless you took my advice from a previous video, and that is during building your skill set, you did a little bit of freelance for friends, family, and small businesses. Then you can use that and put that on your resume. So networking. What I mean by this, I mean knowing other developers that possibly work at the company before you get there. How do you do that? Well, you can do things like attending meetups. So meetup.com, there's all types of developer meetups. Uh, a lot of bigger cities and tech uh, centric cities will have meetups um, for you to attend. So going to those meetups, talking to people, forming connections, and before you know it, you'll actually know several people that work at several different companies. And if you apply to those companies and you use them as a reference, you already practically have one foot in the door, okay? So this is a huge tip. Also, outside of, net, outside of that, if you could, just talk to other developers, maybe join a Slack channel, maybe join a Discord, and talk to other developers in your local area. Try to form connections, okay? You don't even necessarily have to attend a meetup, but just talk to developers, say you're interested in breaking into the field, and this will go a very long way. You may, they may even reach out to you and say, hey, apply, you should apply to my company. All right, tip number three, resume. So you wanna make sure that there aren't any grammatical errors on your resume. You wanna make sure you're honest, as honest as possible on your resume. Don't list all of the skills under the sun on your resume that you've only touched once and for like an hour. List the skills that you are proud of and that you know you can demonstrate and that you feel the most comfortable with because you don't wanna list something on your resume and then they rely on you for that thing. The last thing you wanna do during the interview process is say that you know something really well when you don't because then they may rely on you and for that thing and then you might be in a position where you're just you're just not in a good position. Don't let yourself do that. Be very upfront and honest about your skills so that way they know what they're working with, you know what you're working with, and you can get the job done at the end of the day. I'll make a separate video on resumes soon here because my resume has gotten a lot of traction. Just in the last month, I applied to three different places and I had interviews at all three places and job offers at all three places. Okay, so you have your basic skills down, you have a little bit of networking going on, you have your resume put together, what's next? I like using something like Indeed to apply. Um, look for local jobs in your areas, in your area, apply to the jobs with your resume, and then 
once you, and, and try to feel out if you're gaining traction, try to pay attention to how many jobs you apply to, how many phone interviews you're getting or interviews you're getting. Pay attention to this number. If you've applied to 10 places and you haven't gotten a single interview yet, then I would just hold off and look on your resume, try and tweak things, try and get some feedback from other people and whatnot, because something's going on where you're not getting that traction of interviews. I've been finding that January has also, December, January, are really, really good months to apply. I've, I've get lots of traction during those months. My last three full-time jobs, I've gotten hired in January. I don't know, there's something about it. I guess the turn of the new year, a lot of things change. Okay, so you've uploaded your resume. You've gotten that phone interview. What is the phone interview, interview for? It's for phone screening. It's for filtering people out. It's for basically trying to talk. It's for basically having a conversation on the phone to see whether or not you even want to move forward with this person. Can they communicate well? Can they um, answer some basic questions for you? Or do they seem like a sane person? This is like the sane person interview. All right, after the phone interview, the next interview is typically going to be a, uh, an in initial interview where it's a video interview or it's an on-site interview. You're gonna meet some of the developers of the team. You're going to answer some basic questions. You're gonna probably talk about your past work experience maybe talk about what you think you could do as a junior developer, maybe talk about some hard problems that you solve. It's very conversational and just getting a feel to know you to see if they wanna proceed, okay? After this interview, the next interview is the technical challenge interview. Now, as a junior developer, they probably aren't going to give you anything too crazy, probably just test your basic skill sets. If you're front end, they, you're probably not gonna get any crazy computer science or heavy duty database practical challenges probably just going to do some basic uh, front-end JavaScript or uh, or something along those lines. Now, if you're server-side or full-stack, you're probably going to get a heavier technical challenge, maybe even a computer, a computer science-based theoretical challenge. But uh, that aside, they aren't too hard that you can study for these things. And then also, what goes a long way is, and my next tip, is proving your technical ability. How do you do that? You can bring your laptop with you to the interview. Bring, it, bring your backpack with you, bring your laptop with you, and have it ready. When the time comes, take that laptop out and actually show them during the interview process. Say, I'm really proud of this thing that I built. Can I, do you mind if I show you once, once it gets to a certain stage? And then they'll say, sure, yeah, you can show me. And then show them the project that you've built for a friend, family member, client, for your own personal project, demoing your abilities and your skills that they need for the job. This can be very basic. It doesn't have to be anything over the top complex. But just demo, hey, I can, uh, I can lay out a web page, I can uh, validate stuff with front-end JavaScript, I can send stuff to the server if that's what you're applying for, I can store stuff in the database, I can do the basic CRUD operations, which stands for create, read, update, and delete, um, things of that nature. Really try and sell yourself. You're basically almost being a salesman when you interview. You're trying to tell the company why they should hire you. Okay, so communication, making sure to look in their eyes, don't look around, look down, don't try to be too uh, uncomfortable, just, just do your best. Another huge tip is right before you go into the interview or you're interviewing, maybe take a five minute walk. Take a five minute brisk walk, try to calm your nerves, try to center yourself. I mean, you're always gonna be nervous during the interview process, but the most, the, the better that you can settle your nerves before you go into the interview, the, the more you can, you'll be able to think clearly, you'll be able to convey what you're trying to, the message that you're trying to have during the interview. Also, you're getting interview experience. Whether you get that job or you don't, pay attention to what stage of the interview process you make it to and really try to reflect on why it is or isn't that you got that job and then try and improve that for the next time around. I know for a fact you guys can get that junior dev job just keep on trying, keep on honing your skills while you're interviewing. Don't just like say, oh, I have the skills that I need now, now I don't have to do anything. No, every day, try and hone your skills even more and more, learn something a little bit, you know, learn something new, even if it's just a little thing, and go through this process, and I guarantee you, you'll get that first junior dev job. You can do it, guys. Please like and subscribe, share this video with your friends, family, cats, dogs. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this. I'm going to come out with some new content soon. Uh, I'm going to come out with a uh, mid-level developer interviewing tips and then senior level developer interviewing tips videos soon. Also, a lot of other videos in the works. So I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, have a good rest of your day. See you later.